What's up, guys? Craig, Young Family Farm here. A little update on the babies. Um, the buckling actually was born with an eye issue. It's where his eyelids are turned in. It's on his right eye. We've been treating it. We've got him pulled out. He's got it open again instead of holding it closed all the time. Thank goodness. Um, I didn't notice it until uh, yesterday. So day number three for him. But like I said, we, uh, we've been working on it and it's open now. It's got some scarring on it, but hopefully it'll heal up. And he'll be able to see out of it. But let's go. Let's go see him. There he is. Here's his sister. Oh, where are you going? on the tail. I love it. Here, let's see if we can see his eye. You see where it's wet. Oh, I can't get a hold of him. Mom's anyway. She's a very good mom. Mavis is a great mom. She, uh, Mavis is super friendly, you know, but when it comes to her baby, she only allows a couple of us in here to mess with them. And Oh, there it is. <laughs> She don't, she don't like that medicine we're using on his eye. We're putting eye drops in. But. So, the little girl actually has spots on her. No, no, it's the buckling. Has a spot on his back leg. And then the doling has spots on her belly, which is super cool. Hello, lady. Oh, there goes my awesome camera skills again, putting my finger in front of the camera. Yes. And he has a crooked tail, like it points to the left. They are getting, they're becoming super friendly. You know, Mavis slowly lets them get so close to us and then she kind of pulls them back, huh, baby? <clears throat> yep. All right, on to the Fairweathers. They got their back shaved today. If you can see, not a real good job, but it works. It keeps them. So we have been told in the past that if you keep their back shaved, sorry, if you keep their back shaved, it helps them stay cool and it helps them grow a little better. Eh, is it mythical? I don't know, but we had them out, put them on the stand today, trim their back up a little bit. Uh, this one here, Jade and my son, that's the one he's taken to the fair. We tried to walk him today. That was, that was exciting. He, you know, any of you guys that's ever tried to walk a young goat before, he was flipping and flopping and screaming and just hated it. But, but we did it. We got it done. Had him out for a little bit. Put him on the stand. Trying to get them used to people as well. All right. On to the calves, as you see. He's napping. And then I have old Sonny boy here. They have been out out in the arena here most of the day running and playing and it's nice out sun shining oh buddy oh, gotta get them chin scratches huh you don't need to suck on my fingers there he is He 
He's just trying to suck on my fingers. They, uh, they're on the bucket now. They're off the bottle, but they are still drinking milk. So they get off my clothes. They still have a tendency to try to suck on your fingers. And, but, uh, and then he's a very tired. I'm a tired boy. So yeah, Dad, I've been out in the sun all day running and playing. Running and playing all day. Huh, been running and playing all day. Get off of me. You don't have to eat my clothes off of me. He's trying hard. <laughs> don't eat it. All right, a little update on the little ones and Mavis today. You know, just making it through our Saturday. Here we are over in the, the girls' pen. And I just, I want to show you guys this here. This is my hay feeder I made. I made it out of, let me get the sun out of there. Um, what are they called? IBC totes. So I cut the sides, folded it together. And then what I did is I put smaller wire inside of it because we still had them pulling great big mouthfuls of hay out and wasting it. So with that, they can only take so much out. Ladies. Tate. What are you doing, Tate? She's hanging out, Dad. He's hanging out with my friends. He's hanging out with my friends. So I don't know if you guys had seen this yet, but we actually just built this, me and my daughter and my son and my co our cousin helped me. But yeah, you guys got trash everywhere in here. But we took and just fenced off another lot we had here up by the road and uh, gave them a little bit more room. Up here, we have a gate that I'm slowly working on. I need the uh, cow panel that has Mavis and the babies held in. But if you see Jaden, my son and myself, we welded together this gate. And then we're going to weld that piece of panel on it. Uh, it's just a small six foot gate access gate here into the field. And what we'll do with it's when we're loading or unload, we can just back the truck and trailer right here, run them in, run them out, whatever we got going on. And then eventually, like I said in the, one of the first videos I posted, we plan on taking the barbed wire, the horse fence, cow fence out on this side, and we will run fence down to the end down where you can see it the house down there but our fence is back this way by the tree anyway we will take it and run it down to that fence line and then come back across on the other side of this wood section just a little extra grazing room let them get out stretch their legs and play but I just wanted to give you guys an update on the babies and everything that's going on here at the house. Like I said, it's Saturday, late afternoon, early evening. We're going to get the house cleaned up, get dinner ready, get ready for church in the morning. But I just want to let you guys know about the baby in his eye. He is fine. Is it something that can hinder him in the long run? Just depends on how bad it is. Um, I'll keep you guys up to date on that. I'm going to keep treating him. And... Like always, go down, hit the follow button, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.